you're a gun enthusiast like I am, chances are you either have or will acquire a large holster collection. This may be because you've had to try several before you found the one that you like the best, or because one holster does not always work for every type of clothing. Recently, I received a coupon for $10 off of 40 or more at Bass Pro Shop, so I decided to get a nice molded leather holster for my Glock 27. The only other inside the waistband holster I have for it is a $15 nylon cheapie, which is one of those, quote, one-size-fits-all deals. It's a fairly good holster, but I just wanted something a little bit nicer. I looked around the store and found the DeSantis Cozy Partner for $70, but I, it was only 60 for me because I had the coupon. I wore it for a couple of hours today, so I shall now give you my first impressions. The first pro is that the leather is very, very soft. This is a, a holster is very comfortable. I almost forgot I was wearing it. The opening here is made of slightly stiffer leather than the rest of the holster. I find that holsters that are made are 100% uh, soft leather feel nice, but they tend to collapse when you're removing the firearm. This can make reholstering a real pain in the ass. Alternately, some holsters, such as the Galco Stow and Go series, have metal around the opening, which is great for reholstering, but it can be very uncomfortable. On the Cozy Partner, the stiffer leather helps retain the shape to make reholstering much easier, but since it bends, it won't jab you in the gut. And I'll show you that now. See, I take the gun out, and it still retains its shape, but it's very flexible. Another thing I like about this um, particular holster is that it has an adjustable retention screw, which is right there. Um, most, uh, most leather holsters, I find, don't have that, so that's a very nice feature to have. It, um, if you don't know what a retention screw does, you tighten it or loosen it to adjust um, how firmly the holster grips onto the gun. Uh, the mo thing I really like about it is if you flip it over, you can see it is made in the USA, which that's nice. I always like to keep American workers and jobs when I can. Um, and I love that it's, the next pro is I love that it's molded to the shape of the firearm. That helps it, uh, that helps the retention too. It helps it to just hold on to a little bit better. And the snaps, these belt snaps, as you can see, they hook around your belt. And they're very, very secure, which is also brings us to our first con of this holster, is that these are a little bit too secure. You have to really get some strength in there to snap them back. It's really hard to do. But the good news is, once it's on there, it's not going anywhere. And it also, the next con that I can think of is it, it prints a little bit, especially when I wear it on my right side. I'm ambidextrous, so I tend to prefer to use left-handed holsters because I think that it prints a little bit less than my left hand. But uh, since they didn't have any left hands available at the store, I ended up with a right-handed one, and I just wear it on my left side in a cross-draw position, which makes it print a lot less than it does when, it, when I'm wearing it on my right. Anyhow, um, I like this holster so far. As I said, I've only been wore it for a couple of hours, but it seems to be a very nice, comfortable, well-made holster for my Glock 27. If my opinion of that changes, I will certainly let you know. But please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.